Dude, I know I usually wake up pretty early, but I think today is the earliest I have ever woken up. Guess what time it is? You're never gonna be able to guess. It is freaking 2.30 a.m. And I have to wake up at such a fucked up time because uh, me and Joe got a show in Boston today. Shout outs to uh, Boston University for bringing us, us bring us up. Can't for bringing us, oh! But you know what's awesome though? Today is our first time screening Danger Boys for the first time. So that's freaking awesome. I'm really excited about that. But yeah, boss is bringing us out. And uh, we're trying to avoid having to stay out too many days when we travel. So back in the day, we used to fly in, sleep, and then do the show the next day. But because we're busier now, we're trying to be able to fly in and then do the show and then leave um, the next day. So we're trying to cut down from three days to two days of travel. And since the last time we went to uh, Boston, there was that uh, delay. And you know how like we almost missed the show. We didn't want to do that. So uh, we wanted to make sure there's ample room between us landing and the show in case there were like an hour or two hour delays. So um, we wanted to fly in early. And because of that, my flight is at six, which means we're boarding at five, which means we got to get there at four, which means I got to pick up Joe at three o'clock, 3.30, which is why I'm up at 2.30. And man, am I discombobulated because I really needed to sleep because we finished shooting JK News yesterday at like 8.30. And I we filmed for like 12 hours straight. So my brain is like, Whoa. But talking about screening Danger Boys for the first time uh, it excited me, and I think I'm up now. Also, today's the first time that I'm driving Gio's car without Gio in it, and it feels really weird. Like, Tesla is no other car that I've driven before. I think all gas cars feel really similar, and I can usually jump into anybody's car and just drive it but there's so many weird controls and it has these tendencies like as soon as you let off the accelerator wants to slow down it's crazy but the reason why i left my truck which i usually love taking my truck because rain or shine it gets great traction it's four wheel drive it feels like a tank is because uh it has a baby seat in it and since grandma is staying behind to take care of taika I was asking grandma, I'm like, hey, like, which car do I'm going to leave behind? Do you feel more comfortable in, in case of emergency? Like, just in case, God forbid, that she has to take the young Taika Malaika to the hospital or to his pediatrician or something, which one you feel comfortable with? And she was like, can you have, leave your truck, please? Which I totally get because the, te the Tesla is already way too technologically advanced for me. I don't know how Gio does it. And for someone like Jill's mom, who's from the older generation, be even harder. So I don't want her to like freak out during an emergency if it happens. So I'm leaving my truck behind. But now I'm gonna go pick up Joe. And uh, I feel so non -com or non -com inconfident, unconfident. So un why am I so dumb today? Uh, I feel so unconfident driving this car that I was like, Yo, Joe, I know I'm supposed to pick you up, but it's okay if I uh, just meet you at your house and you drive because. I don't want to be driving Gio's car all over the place, especially through LAX, because that thing is a freaking pigsty. So uh, that's where I'm going right now, but I'm making good time. It's uh, three o'clock, should be getting to Joe's house by 3.30, and uh, we shouldn't be missing the flight. So we thought if we got to the airport, that we would be able to get some breakfast, and then be able to buy a sandwich, and take it on the plane, because it's going to be a five hour flight. But we're looking everywhere, and there's nothing open. nothing open like isn't this place supposed to be 24 hours why yeah why don't they have things that are open oh what about this what's farmer's market nope it's oh, closed oh shit lost damn man i'm so hungry man oh we gotta get on the flight and like hopefully something opens in 15 minutes if not we have to get one of those whack ass 50 dollar cold sandwiches <laughs> yay we found something something with fresh food well, I guess it's still cold sandwiches, but these ones look better than the other ones. Sandwiches, build your own plate. 
Have you been here before, Joe? Nah. So you don't know what to get? I just saw a line, so I was like, there's probably something here. Oh, there's plates and bowls? Sandwich? Oh, tight. At least maybe it's a warm sandwich. Alright. We'll see. Oh, there's quinoa. You know I'm not gonna eat that. So they got sandwiches. Or they got, ooh, bacon? And then veggie skillet. Oh, what else they got? Chicken. Oh, they got actual food? Served with hash brown and toast. What the hell is an egg souffle? I don't know, I'm gonna get one though. Cinnamon French toast. Uh -huh. Can I have oh. snacks? Can yes. I oh, that's right. the egg souffle uh, sausage link. Is it for you to Oh, you did for you. <clears throat> yeah. And some bacon. Can I get um, the sausage link? Uh, egg souffle and then a cinnamon French toast with pudding. For here, yeah. Yeah. So the egg souffle is $13.95. Comes with potatoes and toast. The sausage will be one for four dollars, and the French toast will be $13.95 French toast looks good as well. Too. And okay. The option is either potatoes or fruit. Okay. Can I get fruit? Can I next, please? Yeah. Thank you. Not bad for the only breakfast option we got. I got the egg, the sausage. The hash brown. Joe got the same thing. This what this meal cost? Seventy dollars. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Fuck. Seventy dollars for all of this. Fuck. Stop and have the seatbelt visible to the crew at all times. Your life vest is in a pouch under your seat or in a console between seats. If instructed by the crew to open the pouch, remove the vest and pull it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist. Secure the buckle and pull the strap to tighten. Just landed in Boston. Oh yeah. And it's freaking cold. Look at all that snow on the ground. Especially in the city. That's not something we really experienced. The last time we just came to Boston, it wasn't uh, snowing at all and it was way warmer. So I do like that um, everything looks different because you guys know I love the snow. And shout outs to the East Coast, man. You guys really love us bringing us out. Like we already. We just started doing shows again this year and Boston already brought us out twice. So that's super cool. Shout outs to you guys. Um, I think we're gonna go check into our hotel and then probably grab some yummy food. Oh man, look at the snow. Oh, dude, that's cool. You like the snow, Joe, or not? Yeah, trying to get ready for Europe. So I gotta get ready for the cold. Which countries are you going to? I'm gonna go to several Scandinavian countries and UK and I don't know, play it by ear, you know? Oh, tight, so if you, <laughs> if something happens, you might just go to another random country. Yeah. Oh, that's dope, yeah. dude. Hell yeah. Because my friend, um, Kyle Lee, yeah. I met him in Vietnam. Yeah. He has a bunch of friends yeah. that basically has an extra room for him or couch surf too. What? So like, because he, he lets them stay when yeah. they come to Vietnam. Oh, okay. And I was like, are you sure they're gonna let me? They're like, nah, it's fucking cool, dude. So like, we already got like a few things planned. Yeah. Like the main ticket in, the main ticket out. Yeah. But then the rest, the hotels are like 50 bucks too. What? Yeah. Even in Europe? Yeah. And he says it's easy to get Airbnb the next day and all that. Oh, so it's okay. like, yeah. So yeah. if we need to stay somewhere, we're like, oh, stay another day or whatever. We just got to do it. Yeah. That's yeah. tight, man. Holy moly. You guys see that? It's actually snowing. There's like snow just falling down. That's crazy. I really believe what they say about, um, uh, you know how they say that places where they have harsh weather breeds the toughest people. I really think that. Cause I think like when you have it good all year long, like pretty much like in LA where summer is freaking 12 months a year, it's too, it feels too good, right? But then when you, when you know what good feels like, bad feels like, good feels like, bad feels like, and everything in between, I feel like you cherish life more. You understand what hardship is. So. That guy just distracted the shit out of me, but it was cool to see a Boston fire truck. How many people can say they got a Boston fire truck in the block? And snow. God damn, I love snow. Wait, what was I talking about again? Oh yeah, about harsh conditions breed tough people. I believe it. I believe it. Yes. Hey, look at that little guy. Hey, little guy. What's your name? What's your name? Bowie. Bowie? Yeah. Like David Bowie. Hey Bowie. Hey Bowie. Hey. Cute guy. 
Alright, so me and Joe about to go get some pho. And uh, we've been walking in the snow while it's snowing for about 5-10 minutes now. And I could totally see why East Coasters walk all fast. Because they're probably used to the, the cold. So they just got to move quick so that they can stay warm. And they keep up that mentality. So when they go to the West Coast, they go, Hey, walk faster! You slow ass motherfucker! And I'm like, oh yeah, sorry guys. But now I can see why East Coast people are like this. It's kind of tight. Uh, the only problem is, I hope uh, we don't get lost and get stuck in the cold because we were juggling. Should we Uber? Should we taxi? We're like, no, nah, we're never out here. Let's just walk in the snow. I hope we don't turn into two frozen dead people. Motherfuck ass shit. We just got here. And you know what <laughs> happened? The freaking told us. It's closed. I know. I'm like, oh. See, that's why you gotta pay attention to Yelp sometimes. Yeah. Well, we paid attention to the other one. I know we did. We saw we saw this udon place. We're like, oh, that looks bomb. But then that had Japanese hours. We weren't paying attention here. And this lady is brave. What the hell? She ain't got nothing on. <laughs> that is you're a crazy. But uh what was funny about the Vietnamese guy is we went in there, oh I'm so sorry with Clow. And then they're like, oh but I know another one not open. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's the other one. Yeah, that's crazy that people are recommending other business, you know? That's He's so nice. So nice guy. You wanna fuck my mother, not available, my sister, okay. So now we're gonna go find a uh Sundubizi place, trying to get some hot soups in this cold Green weather. Soup. Yeah. Hopefully they're not closed. <clears throat> I know. Hell yeah. I'm supposed to have an egg, but... Is it in there? Oh, there it is. Oh, they put it in. Cool. And got the Big beef. Egg? Yep. My mine's inside. Did you see yours? Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Finally got some hot soup. Since we're walking in the snow, I feel like I earned it. Mm -hmm. I earned my meal. So I guess that's what's kind of cool about walking in the snow, but I can't wait to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry. This hotel that I'm in is freaking cool. So first of all, Look at the room keys. They're like these backstage passes because I think the whole hotel has like this rock concert theme. So you get in with this backstage pass and then everything in here is rock theme. From the zebra robes to this wallpaper. And it says some like it hot. And then you come here and you're like, what? You have straight up vinyls. Yeah, Night Moves, White Blood Cells, The Ballad of Sally Rose. They have a little amp speaker thing and you can actually play the vinyl. Old school typewriter with a story. This is cool, huh? The I didn't know that all the branding continued into the hotel room because um, when you're downstairs, it's very rock already. I think I've been in some kind of like rockish hotels, but to carry it all the way into the room where even the lights it's like that 70s style furniture, even the 70s style office chair. This is freaking, look at that fan. It's freaking cool. Really cool hotel. If you guys are ever in Boston, check out Verb. Really cool. Now I'm gonna change. Um, all I really have to change are my pants. Uh, I just ready to go. I dress really light this time. Uh, packed really light this time because um, it's an in and out trip. So I just got to put on some jeans, wash my face, freshen up, maybe try to find some coffee somewhere. I'm ready to go for the show. Oh yeah. Did I tell you guys already? Cause it's been a long day. I've been up since like two, but did I tell you guys already why I'm so uh, excited about it? Cause it's my first time or our first time screening Danger Boys in public. So it's going to be the first time hearing and seeing live audience reaction. And so far I've, only seen the reactions of the main four me joe casey and steve the writers i haven't seen tim hasn't seen it brandon sue hasn't seen it gina geo no one has seen it yet so boston you guys are super lucky you guys get to see it first because you guys weren't fucking around and you brought us out here and thank you for booking me in the super dope hotel but uh that's what i'm excited about excited for to see if all the funny things are indeed funny and if we have to make tweaks and adjustments when we go home and edit them but anybody else watching this that wants to bring us out and they, you guys want to screen it too hit a book jkf at gmail.com and we'll bring it to you damn look at this place dude 
You guys did a really good wow. job. Oh, Hi. 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 <laughs> Thanks for bringing it. E no, no, hey, shut up. Hey, shut up. Get out of here. What? Hey, can we fire her? Fire. Yeah. Fire. 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 <laughs> this is a dope place. Do you guys know how many tickets we sold? Like two or three? 300. Oh, shit. Is it going to fit? Yeah. Are we sold Hell out? Yeah. Not sold out. It's we're not sold out. No, we're yeah, not. sold out. Sold out. Yeah, yeah. sold out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll tell them right now. All right, so where do we go? We go up there to play the file to see if it works. Yeah? Okay. This is a nice place. Oh, cool. You guys got microphones so we could do the talkie talk after. They illegally downloaded our logo <laughs> off the internet. They illegally Dang. downloaded our videos to the show. This is what I learned in college is how to copy and cheat. Is yeah. that what you guys are learning? Yeah. That's the best way to make it in life is yeah. to copy and cheat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So we gotta go do our uh, test the file, one? make sure it plays. Oh, I have the backup too. Oh, you have one? Yeah. Then Michael was, he gave us triple backups. He's such oh, a good guy. Michael's good. Yeah. Then we didn't need this. Yeah, yeah. He gave us triple. Keep the file. I know. Yeah. So uh, we gotta go into that little room up there, and then we gotta test the file, make sure speakers are good, and then pretty much what we're doing is we're gonna be talking a little bit, playing the the pilot, and then talking about after with the Q and A. Cool, is it playing? Sick. Um, not quite yet. Would you mind if I took a quick look at it before we played? Yeah. Should be playing there if it's working good. Oh yeah, I yes. hear it. Cool, cool. Um, we just gotta get on the screen. Yeah, um, we can pop it into Key Lab if you want. If you don't wanna like juggle between. Get all that machinery. These guys are professional. See all these buttons? That's how you know they're professional. All right. Nice. Can you hear it out there? Uh, we're gonna. Okay, don't play anymore. Don't play anymore. I want to save it. Is it is that not through the speakers out there uh, though? Huh? It was not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so okay. they didn't hear it. Just we. Didn't. Oh, okay, cool. But at least yeah, yeah, we know cool. it connects um, over there. Uh, mom, mom's the word. This is one of the nicest green rooms we've had. Look how humongous this is. It's fucking huge. It's someone's office. I know. Got couches. Too bad I'm not tired. Also take a nap. Got coffee, a kitchen, and then we even got a screen to see what the hell's going on out there. What the hell are you doing over there? See them working or not working or flirting. Whatever college people do these days. It's pretty tight. Damn, yes. what is this? I think I think it's like a to there's out, a dude. countdown with our faces and then the, it's all packed. Is it time? Yeah. Oh. oh, it's time for us to come out. Um the HKC e like leave their stuff here. No. Uh, you could look inside. Yeah, I don't think I so. I don't see anything, but okay. Yeah. I'm just trying to fix it. But yeah. That's tight. Damn, I feel all important. Like there's I mean, am I supposed to go out in a minute? Did you come to get I, hope, I hope that's not us supposed okay. to go out in a minute and the show's right. starting in a minute. But at least it's packed, so right. that looks tight. Hello! Last time better, hell yeah. Hi everyone. Got back in from an awesome show. I think total maybe about 400 kids came out because uh, fucking lagging ass Asians. Once we started screening, a bunch of people started coming in, which is good that you know it got more packed. But it was also in the middle of uh, a screening that thing. But the turnout was good. All the jokes did really well. There were some jokes where I'm like, hmm, I thought it was funnier, and there's some that. 
or whatever. And I'm like, oh, you actually really like that. So um, I did want to play it at a couple more schools and leave the edit as is. And then uh, once I get a good sample size of people, then we can take it back into the editing and then uh, figure out which scenes we want to make longer, which one we want to shorten. But overall, the reception is really good. And I'm just so glad that we're going back to our JK Films roots, you know, and then making narratives and scripted. But yeah, I'm going to knock the hell out. Now I'm so tired of being up since 2.30 a.m. Thank you guys for following me on such an awesome day once again in Boston. Love Boston University. Shout outs to the Hong Kong Students Association at Boston University for putting on such an awesome show. Good night.